Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Sky HD box with a TXNR609 so you can get the best out of it, both for sound and picture. And here we have the back of both units. The first thing that we're going to cover is the physical connections between the Sky box and the TXNR609. The first connection we're going to make is the HDMI. Make sure it's firmly seated into the back of the skybox and then select the relevant HDMI on the 609 that you want. Here I'm plugging it into cable set. A lot of you may just have this particular connection and that's it. If this is the case then you're missing out on all the wonders of Dolby Digital 5.1 that you can get from the Sky HD box. So in fact you actually need to connect a second lead from the optical input or coaxial depending which one you want to use from the Sky HD box and then connect it into the 609 on the relevant digital in. Here I'm using optical one. Now connecting the Sky HD box in this particular manner will actually give you 5.1 audio and up to 1080i video. One of the important things to remember about an optical connection is that they need to be seated properly to work correctly. On one of the sides of the connection will be a small raised bar so when you actually put it into the socket you need to make sure there's a small click and once you've heard that small click or felt it you'll know it's actually seated correctly and ready to work. Right well that's all the hard wiring all done now all we need to do is go into the setup menu and make sure everything is configured correctly. The first thing we need to do in the main menu is go to the input output assignment and then go to HDMI input and correctly set the particular HDMI that you've used. Here I've used the standard labelled input cable set on HDMI 3. And the next thing we need to do is actually assign the optical one in the digital audio input menu. As you can see here, I've scrolled down to cable set and selected optical one. We now need to move back to the main menu and then move down to source setup. The reason we actually need to go into the source setup is to activate the optical input. And this will actually tell the amplifier to look at the optical input and ignore the signal from the HDMI. In the audio selector, part of the source setup, number six. So here we have the audio selector and it's on HDMI, which is a default. And then we just move it to optical and that's it, it's done. The TXNR609 will now actually see all of the audio signals from the optical input. A quick recap, the only way that you're going to get a Dolby Digital 5.1 signal from the Sky HD box is to connect the digital output, whether that's optical or coaxial, into the TXNR609. I hope you've enjoyed watching this little clip, and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye bye.